Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be telling you how to checkmate with a king and a rook against a lone king. Now this is a typical end game that you would come across many a times in your lifetime and you need to be precise as you might be wasting some moves or time and you may end up in a stalemate or a draw situation somehow or maybe you even give away the rook sometimes just trying to be fast on time when you're playing blitz and rapid to be precise. So something like that can always happen and if you know the right technique, you will never blunder it and you can just uh, follow it blindly and quickly win the games with checkmate. Now before I start with this, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So let's begin with this and for this example, I would try to push my open king to the 8th rank and then checkmate. Now. It's no hard fast, hard and fast rule that you have to push the open king to the 8th rank. You can do it on the first rank as well. You can do it on any of the corner files or ranks. So all that matters is your open king has to be in one of these corner squares and then you can probably checkmate him very easily because you cannot checkmate a king in the center when you have got uh, any single piece on in chess. So you always have to push your open king towards corner sides. Now, how do we do it? It's simple. I'll just try to block the ranks one by one and then push my opponent backwards. So in this case, I've placed my rook to c3 for an example and now the open king has to move. Most likely the king will try and attack the rook and in this case all you need to do is maybe acquire d2 which would save the rook and then open king has to move. And, and if you are just not prepared for that, um, you can always play rook further behind as well but then why are you willing to waste a move just try and defend your rook and that works because you have already cut down on this uh, file and rank so the open king is restricted to only these three moves right now and sim similarly we'll just try to push the open king backwards now say open king tries to retain on the same rank what you can do here is just make sure that there's enough distance between the rook and the king's because otherwise what happens is if you try and chase the king now with your uh, rook or with your king, uh, the open king can go back and hit your rook again. So you don't, don't want to be wasting time. And again, if you just try to give a check, what happens is rook moves to f3. So it can get tricky. So don't, don't hesitate. Just wait, play a waiting move here. Put, put your uh, rook farther away. And now if open king tries to chase, that's bad because you can just simply push your rook onto the fourth rank. And because kings are in the same squares are lined up, then open king will have to move because uh, the, the idea is always to get your open king on the same uh, file as your king is. Because you are controlling this already. So if you can just cut down on uh, the move like this, then open king will have to eventually go back because your rook will be on the fourth rank. So now uh, let's proceed with this example. Say if the king goes to the other, uh, to say d4, then simply I can place my rook above because now open king cannot come here because we have got the opposition. So open king has to go back. And then uh, if he goes in the same rank, of course we can follow. And then if open king say move towards the rook, now this is a clear indicative. Whenever uh, the open king is a knight square away, from your king and towards our rook then you have to play a waiting move and make sure that the rook is towards your king end so just move the rook again to h4 now this will control the fourth rank still and now open king has only got two options to if he wants to really maintain this rank control and if that is the case he moves to the other side you also follow he moves you also follow and at some point of time king will either have to lose the control of the fifth rank by going backwards or if he tries to maintain then he has to come in front of our king and that's the way we are looking forward to. Now we can just shift one more rank and again we have the opposition here so open king cannot come here so it has to go back. See simply we are just trying to make sure that uh, you're, you're, you're just completely making sure that open king is going backwards. So now it has come to sixth rank you can still follow see we are knight away and uh, again the knight away uh, squares for the king so now you can simply shift your rook as well over here now if opponent tries to follow you 
follow your rook then again he has to eventually go back because after a move okay it's our turn here so i can push the opponent king backwards he goes there and we try to take control again and then he has to move and then uh, you can also move here uh, just in case if you want to or you can just move the king either way is fine and once they are again away then you can just simply push here if he tries to go and then you can just simply push again open goes back you just keep following the same method and now uh, it's a matter of time when the open blunders eventually you can just move away because again knight square away and now uh, if open can max last a few moves just trying to escape the king but once we reach the g file it has to come here and that would result in a checkmate that's one way of checkmating where you will not blunder anything you will not never stalemate and it's all solid it's very precise but it took us 24 moves now you would be saying that's a lot of moves for a blitz or a bullet especially or rapid as well at sometimes when you are just trying to have a complex middle game and then you come out through with the extra rook you don't want to waste 24 moves to checkmate your opponent what is a better way let's go back to our starting position once and see what we can do as a change now uh, we played rook to c3 here open king moved towards this file and we took control and now open move king moves here over to e4 what we can do is just simply wait let the opponent king go wherever he wants to say he wants to uh, run away so that we also chase him this this will happen many a times and once the opponent goes to the corner maybe even to g you can do the same thing you can get your rook over to g3 who said you have to only push him to the last rank you can always push him to the first file as well or any file a or h file either works so find the closest one whenever you feel a chance to now this is sixth move and we have pushed him to the last file already uh, so what you need to do is simple follow the basics as always proceed with your king next opponent can repeat you can also repeat opponent will have to move and once the opponent has moved what you can do just maintain the distance and now if opponent comes back it's a checkmate king h4 rook h1 is a checkmate or if king goes up you can follow and mate will happen pretty soon after move h7 rook h1 is mate here we took only 13 moves instead of 20 or last time 24 so we cut down on a lot of moves by just playing it smart you don't have to push the open king to only one one rank which you have decided you can anytime change it in fact if the open king wouldn't have gone to the h rank and just be on the g rank i can still cut it off from the f rank to begin with f file to begin with and then push him to g and h files so so either way it works so it's a pretty interesting way how you change your approach once you have started chasing the king in the end game i hope this helps you improve your uh, gameplay if you have if you don't do know how to checkmate your open king with a king and queen it's great but i'll i'll tell you the fastest technique as well it's in, in one of my videos i'll place the link in the description as well and if you don't know how to checkmate your opponent with two bishops, I have a video on that as well. So please do check these out and enjoy. Improve your end game so that you can always win when you are pretty sure in a convincing position. You don't end up in stalemating positions, which is very hurtful. I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with another interesting and instructive video at the same time. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.